Hello guys, Janos here and welcome to the official launch of Call of Antia Match 3 RPG. This game is provided to us by King's Group International AG. And now let's see what sort of gameplay features and battle mechanics we can enjoy in this new mobile RPG game. First of all, I would love to give a very big shout out and thanks to Bluestacks for sponsoring this video. And definitely I'm here to recommend you guys to use Bluestacks Android emulator to play mobile games like Call of Antia Match 3 RPG in your PC or laptop device. It is a very powerful Android emulator that is pretty compatible with almost all the mobile games out there in the market the download link is in the description of this video check it out now that's it let's get this started I've just started playing this game right over here and it says skip okay here we go so we have got a puzzle type mechanics right over here in order to uh, defeat our enemies out there in the screen. So if you guys are uh, pretty good with Candy Cross, I think this game is totally gonna be perfect for you guys okay so that's it now let's get this on all right, so we can actually even use the ultimate skill or special abilities of our heroes out here. Okay, that is great. I like that. Wow, is that Kraken? Oh, it's Siren. All right. <laughs> All right, so it's time to, uh, you know, like take a really good care of this amazing, amazing character right over here. Seems to be like a wifey material. <laughs> but a little evil type. Okay, so there we go. Let's click on there. Oh, nice. Pretty good animation out here. Okay, that's the Thunder Dragon. Kind of reminds me of uh, Final Fantasy, the Bahamut, the new Bahamut from Final Fantasy VII. How about that? Do you guys still remember that? <laughs> All right, here we go. That's the Thundor. Okay, it has been a long time since there has been such a lively battle. Humans, you have shown great courage. Okay, so there we go. Anyways, we are going to skip this one for now. <laughs> All right, I like that energy. Okay, that's really good voice of that. Okay, so we are already out here to summon. That's great. Right on the point. <laughs> I like it. Okay, there we go. Look at that. So that's how the summoning animation really looks like in this game. Keith, that's the three-star unit that I actually managed to get for free. All right, so we are going to go into the campaign. All right, so far, so good. Keep calm and travel, and we are going to be able to defeat our enemies, I believe. Okay, there we go. That's the five orbs uh, used, and I think that's the special orb that's going to use the yellow orbs in the whole board in order to deal even more damage to the enemies out there. Okay, that's great. And now you can see the raise gauge of my character is total 100%, and now I can use the special ability of my character. Wow, that was pretty awesome, wasn't it? A lot of HP totally, totally uh, wasted on the enemies out there. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Boom, just like that. That's awesome. And I think we can actually come up with some really good combos of uh, attacks. If we actually manage to go for a really good, uh, you know, this uh, orb combination out there in the <laughs> screen. So yeah, look at that. So I think this game is pretty much similar to that of the Dragon Ball Z, uh, Dokkan battle, right? Yeah, so if you guys are pretty familiar with that game, I think this game might actually be a um, bit of interest to you guys as well. Anyways, uh, okay, so I can actually check out for my personal profile picture, right? So I'm definitely gonna go with this. Oh, all right, man, looks a really amazing wifey right over here. And I'm actually gonna be putting my name. Okay, that's gonna be Genos. Okay, so there we go. Okay, and then confirm. Helena, okay. So Let's go into the heroes. I think it's time for upgrading our heroes so that we can actually provide them with a lot more performance boost in the battlefield. Okay. Let's go for the second stage. Keep calm and travel onward. That's what it says and that's what we are going to do out here. Okay. So, well, there we go. So far, there don't seem to be any kind of time limit. Okay. You would always find this information in the top right, uh, top left corner of the screen. Okay, so there we go. There is like elemental, um, you know, mechanics going on around as well. The RBG and LD. Definitely, the red is, um, you know, like superior to green. Green is superior to blue. Blue is superior to red. So there is a cycle combination going on around. If you actually kind of take the elemental advantage, definitely you will be able to deal a lot more damage to the enemies, and possibly there is a higher chance of landing critical blows on the enemies. And the light and dark, they really do, uh, you know, like contradict each other. Okay, so there we go. That's it. Boom. That's pretty awesome. Really good attack, wasn't it? Oh my god, <laughs> I like that. I like that. Okay, final wave. Let's do this. So we are gonna do like this. Okay, boom, that's awesome, I like that. All right, all right, bring it on, bring it on. And uh, we can do like this as well. How about that, uh, no, 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 that was not possible, was it? Okay, how about this? 
Oh, so we cannot actually go diagonal. Ah, shit. Okay, so we can only go for the linear type of, uh, you know, the orb chains. Okay, so what we can do next? Oh, how about this? Oh, that's four orbs, right? <laughs> awesome, guys, awesome. I didn't realize that one of my characters actually had that, uh, you know, like, uh, the race gates already 100%. Okay, Eliza. I actually managed to get her. I think she's a healer. Definitely, that's how uh, you know the the, the presence that the the character design actually really refer to. Uh, okay, so now it's time to put Eliza in our team. Okay, so we can take a total of five members in a team into the battle. So that's what it seems. Okay, so there's a little bit of story going around. Many of the villagers had been captured by the orcs. The village was in ruins. Ah, the orc was grabbing the woman by her ass. Man, that was good. <laughs> How about that? Okay, so, well, uh, it's time to go for some combo damage, okay? Oh, well, how about this? Boom, take it, take it. Okay. The final wave is out here, and boom, look at that. Oh, the monster is huge ass big, okay? That's Undum. Okay. So, let's see what we can do against him. Huh. Uh, I can do this. Oh, that's great. That's great. Oh, I like that. I like that. That's pretty good, wasn't it? That was really awesome as well. Boom. I like that. The boss will cast a skill when mana is full. Tap to continue. Okay, that's great. Awesome. All right, so now it's time to check out for the special ability of this, uh, you know, like, uh, the, 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 the newly added hero. And definitely, she was meant to heal my allies. And that's what exactly she did, right? <laughs> okay, I like that. So I think depending... Depending upon the elements, uh, we will be able to, you know, like charge up the abilities of our characters. Okay, so I actually just used the red orbs, right? So it was able to uh, charge up the ultimate skill of my red element uh, unit, and that's gonna be this character right over here. And boom, look at that! All right, that's pretty good damage, I believe. Not really that enough though. Anyway, so let's see what I can do. How about this one? Just look at that, okay? So red and the green actually got some boost out there. But how about this one? Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, it's actually getting interesting. Hmm, so what I can do next? Okay, so let me check it out. Uh -huh. I'm so oh, how about this? Oh yeah, I've got this special orb. That can actually take care of so many same color type of orbs out there. And boom, the opponent is dead. That was pretty great help. Okay, so well, somebody's asking for help from uh, the inside of house. <gasps> wow, that's an amazing, lovely wife that's calling for my help. And definitely, it's time to actually pour in some water, right? And then it's time to, uh, you know, like unlock the lock so that I can actually free her up. And uh, well, what kind of favor is she's gonna do for me? <laughs> Damn, she's an amazing wife, you man. Thank you. I thought I was dead. All right, all right. I'm always here for the damsels in distress. <laughs> Clear the stage, no hero was lost. Clear the stage within uh, 20 rounds. Okay, tap to continue. So those were some really good rewards that I actually managed to get by defeating uh, the enemy. Okay, so there we go. And now it's time to check out like some other tutorials out here. Let's go for this, let's complete. Okay, so we are still in the tutorial phase. Everything is actually working th uh, good thus far. Pretty interesting game in my opinion. Really good storyline. Oh my, that's an amazing Cyclops. Balor, it says. Wow, that's great. Watch out. The enemy in front of you is a strong yellow monster. Yellow. Attack him with the purple element. Okay, so well, the purple element, a hero unit, that's 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 this one right over here, right? So I should actually be focusing on the purple type orb so that I can actually build her, uh, you know, this ultimate ability as soon as possible. Oh, so he kind of kicked me and, and that actually did some really great damage to my tank unit out here. And definitely I'm actually going to... Try to build up the, uh, you know, this this purple uh, gaze beater as soon as possible. Oh, nice! Now it's time for the enemy to die, okay? Because I'm actually going to be able to use this uh, special ability. Wow, look at that. That was an amazing strong attack. Okay, so he has got, like, multiple health bars. So it's going to be quite hard to bring him down. So, well, how about this? Take that, sucker. Take that. <laughs> Take that! Okay, so how about uh, something else? Okay, this one right over here. How about this? Oh, boom! Nice. That's 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 pretty good. Uh huh. How about this one right over here? Okay, that's great. I like that. And uh, oh yeah, right over here. Boom! There we go. The gaze. It's actually building up really, really slow. Actually. Hmm. What else can I do? Okay, so right over here. The game is actually really good at giving us some tips from time to time, like. Uh, what to do next okay that is actually pretty great help 
I was actually thinking of that one as well, but I was actually looking forward for some even bigger combos out there. Okay, this one would be good. Come on, 100%. Yes, there we go. And I think this is going to be the end. Oh, shit. Not even close enough. <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, what are we going to do? Uh huh. So, we are supposed to build up the green bar as well. Yes, yes, because we need some support, right? We need some healing from our healer. And that would be actually great. But, hey, uh, uh, we are actually having some problem out here. Okay, that is great. And uh, now we can actually use the special ability of the tank unit. Oh, he is actually a Lancer. Oh my, he actually defeated the Cyclops himself. Okay, that's great. That's great. The Cyclops is down. And definitely, uh, we are actually going to be going through that portal. Maybe to another world, another dimension, another stage, whatever that is. Okay, come on, open it up. Really nice animation. Pretty smooth graphics. No lags thus far, which I think is pretty good point for this game. All right. Not bad, actually. Not bad. I would say definitely this game might not be contesting as a main core game, but it could definitely be a really good side game, guys, okay? Ancient Dragon Awakens, and the dragon looks pretty majestic out here. Look at that. Complete chapter 2 to get Ancient Dragon. <gasps> He's mine? So what am I supposed to do with that dragon? Okay, 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 okay. So maybe that lizard had something to help us with maybe during the battle. <laughs> Let's check it out. Dark mode is the creepiest area. Okay, so such an eerie place. Okay, so let's skip this one right over here. We are actually going to use this orb combo. Oh, no, no, that one. Oh, we have got auto function as well for this game. Ladies and gentlemen, definitely it's going to make uh, it much easier to play this game from now onwards. There's auto function. How about that? And definitely the computer, the AI really knows a lot more than us. <laughs> when it comes to matching up really good, uh, you know, the orb combination, right? That is great. I like that. Look at that. So many things are happening, like, so fast. I think, personally, I might not be able, able to do that. <laughs> so I think in this game, I would actually really suggest to actually, you know, like, trigger the auto mode to have uh, a lot more advantage against your enemies because your AI is way too smart to coming up with really good combo attacks against the enemies, which is definitely great. So, well, there we go. That was a pretty easy victory. Last time, it actually took me quite a while to <laughs> to finish off my battle. But this time, it was actually over within a matter of seconds. All right. So far, so good. Everything is looking pretty great. Uh, there's something out here. So, I think I got to clear this stage too fast, right? So, let's clear this up. And I might actually be able to get access to that pile of bones. Maybe there's some treasure hidden inside. Okay. So we have got a lot of match orbs right over here. Awesome. Oh, oh shit, that was not meant to. Oh, that. What? Anyways, that went good. <laughs> that went good. That went good. Okay, so how about this one right over here? That's gonna be the orb for our uh, green unit. That's the healer. Uh, okay, how about this one? Boom. There we go. That's it. Nice. That's nice. I like that. A lot more damage. Okay, now I think I can actually go for the auto mode and just sit back, chill, and relax while the. AI just takes control of my characters and everything is going to be done auto. That was pretty good. And I think we are going to be heading to the second wave. You can easily see how many turns we have got in order to uh, clear up this uh, particular stage out here. If you actually take more than 50 turns, definitely it's going to be a default loss for you guys. So make sure that you actually finish off your opponents real fast. And next is going to be the waves. Like how many waves of enemies are out there before you can actually complete this stage. Okay, everything is actually working pretty fine. I think we are going to be done in the next move. Look at that. That was an amazing electrocution of the <laughs> orbs, right? Amazing, amazing, amazing thus far. Alright. Damn. Uh, the boss is dead. A victory. Clear the stage. The hero was lost. Clear the stage within 20 rounds. And we do have that uh, three star victory. And with that three star victory, definitely we can actually do a lot of stuff, right? Looks like the orcs were killed by the skeleton soldiers. Okay, so we have got a little bit of story going on around. Chatting grade. Okay, that's available. And now it's time to look for the. Reward and that was 1500, uh, 15,000 gold actually. Sorry, <laughs> 15,000 gold. And this one right over here, I will be able to access this, uh, access it after uh, clearing stage four. So well, uh, that's it. Now it's time to check out for the other features of this game. Well, um, as you keep on clearing the story corners, definitely you will be able to get a lot of mileage rewards, like the rubies or diamonds, whatever you may call it, right? So yeah, that is it. We can actually check out the heroes out here as well if you really want to upgrade them so that they can actually have a lot more you know, performance boosted out there in the battlefield. We can even ascend them as well. That's great. 
that's great and with the ascend uh, they can actually get their skill upgraded as well which is pretty awesome okay so now it's time to actually focus on the another unit out here because uh, you know I gotta manage my resources real good or else I might not actually be quite fair to all of my units out there in the team inventory let's check it out well these are the items that I've got right now and uh, in box hey as a beginner we don't have any kind of really good reward hey that's a big minus we should actually be at least getting some really good pre-registration rewards or maybe as a beginner rewards or whatever that is okay uh, for a really good kickstart on the game as a beginner okay well there we go we have got some reward right over here oh okay so we can claim it so I think we are getting a free three star unit okay wow that's okay that's awesome I like that and that's Helena okay this wifey is totally mine right now all right I like that I like that that is great and uh, well 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 where is the summon gate okay so I, I gotta show you guys like what's the summon rate in this game right so well 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 where is the summon rate okay so maybe in here okay so for the legendary heroes who are a five star grade they're gonna be dropping at two percent chance which I think is not really that great but not really that shabby either two percent I would say it's really right over there in the silver line it's yeah, it's acceptable, okay? Uh, the uh, four-star units, they are going to be dropping at 15% chance, which I think is pretty great. Uh, Three-star units, they are going to be dropping at 40% chance. And finally, the uncommon heroes, they are going to be dropping at 43% chance, all right? And you can see that, like, we have got a lot of legendary heroes out here. All right, that's it. Uh, I got no legendary heroes thus far. And damn, I can't even do one single summon. Oh, my God, this is so sad. Holy crap, man, this is... Definitely not a really good start for this game. Ha, huh, man. All right, so, well, uh, well, we are, here we go. Anyways, uh, for a Malta summon, you will be requiring a total of 1,980 diamonds, right? So if we are to look into the market, oh my god, the market is even locked right now. It's, I, I, I gotta clear a 2-3 in order to access the market. What the hell? Daily summon? It's not even free for now. Uh, epic summon okay epic summon and the daily summon these are the only two banners that's uh, existing right now so that's pretty much it and i cannot even see the beginner missions or beginner type stuff or maybe it's this one maybe this is the one that is uh, catered for the beginners right like the beginners mission so that you can actually gain a lot of rewards while you are also um learning a lot about the game as well in the due process okay so we have got a kingdom out here to actually take care of and we can actually get a lot of resources out here. All we need to do is build new structures. It kind of reminds me of Class of Clans and Cookie Run Kingdom. <laughs> All right. And also Slime Isekai Memories. While you are also doing the battle, you also have to take part in uh, the construction and the upgrade and the progress of your kingdom as well. So that is pretty good, I would say. I don't have enough material in order to, you know, complete that uh, upgrade. Okay, so there we go. Just some few times. And we have got community out here as well. Oh, we have got Facebook, Discord, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube channel for this game. That's pretty great move. Okay. We have got like this castle more. Let's check it out. It says, upgrading your castle will allow you to expand your plots and upgrade building further. Just like slimy Sekai memories. Totally, totally like slimy Sekai memories. So yeah, there we go. And we have got a lot of stuff. But for now, we have got some limited contents out here. Right. So yeah, that is it. Oh, someone actually takes it, it takes us to here right away and uh, is there anything else anything else okay let's check out our like you know this uh, this this profile information id that's gonna be it power and stuff like that prime heroes that's it and we have got settings out here as well for the music sound effect game language redemption code oh we have got redemption code section as well if i actually manage to get or encounter some redemption code i will actually try to provide it to you guys right away chat language ask for help support link and switch my service energy full and stuff like that okay so there we go we have got notifications and many other settings out here we can even chat if we want to and later on definitely we can actually um, have an alliance which definitely is a guild but after clearing stage 5-1 which definitely is going to take some time right and we have got this exploration as well but it's going to get unlocked a little bit later oh we have got museum as well but museum is totally locked for now we even have got shop but it's uh, unlocked after clearing stage 3-3 and we even have got blacksmith okay so hey there we go <laughs> that's pretty much it all right and uh, looks pretty fair to me thus far anyways that is it for today what do you guys think about this game please do let me know in the comment section below i would really love to hear your feedbacks and criticisms about this game all right anyways uh once again, I would love to give a very big shout out and thanks to Bluestacks for sponsoring this video. And I would really recommend you guys to use Bluestacks Android Emulator to play mobile games like 
this game right over here in your PC or laptop device. Very powerful Android emulator that is compatible with almost all of the mobile games at the end of the market. Let's say the link to the download, uh, the download link <laughs> to the BlueStacks is down in the description of this video. Check it out and please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on continuing to enjoy my uh, the videos of my channel and see you guys in the next video.